and thanks again for stopping by to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great day today. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to make stickers with your Cricut. I've been patiently waiting to do this tutorial because I didn't really have a reason to make stickers in the first place, but now I do because if you follow me on Instagram, I'll have my Instagram right here, you'll know that I have launched my Etsy shop and I hope everyone gives it a look. My shop is down below and I will also post something right here or somewhere on the screen. I have a few upcoming videos in regards to the behind the scenes of how I made this happen within like 10 days. So I hope you guys will be interested in that video. But these are the stickers. This is my logo, if it will load. I also made a bunch of other stickers, which says you have great taste. I hope everyone loves this video and let's get into the tutorial. As always, open Cricut Design Space and as you see here, I have all of my sticker designs. We are working with my shop logo sticker first, which will be a small rectangle. Let's click upload and click on the shop logo that's saved. Then I chose complex, zoomed out, clicked continue and you'll choose save as a print then cut image. Click on the uploaded image and it'll insert it into Cricut Design Space. Let's minimize the size of it because it's pretty big. And then we can use the square shape and adjust it to the size we want our sticker to be. I did my size as three inches by 1.5 inches. Then you can align it horizontally and vertically and then slice it once you're ready. This will be the final design you use for the print then cut sticker before you actually make it. Now to make the circle sticker, I simply took the circle shape, changed it to white, and then made it a little bit bigger so you could see. I'm going to type out the quote, you've got great taste, and change it to the font DK Lemon, which is from defont.com, and it is free by the way for personal use. We can ungroup the letters and then group the words back together, then align them in the center. This font actually comes with these cute sun emojis, but for some reason it didn't allow me to use them when I typed in the symbols. So I took a screenshot of the sun and then uploaded it to Cricut Design Space. And I just wanted to show you guys on Defont. You can see here if you typed, I think, different letters like the greater sign, it would show up with that, but it actually didn't show up on Cricut Design Space. So I just took a screenshot. So I removed the background and cleaned the rest of it up. I saved it as a cut image and then minimized it so it would fit perfectly onto the circle. And I grouped it as well. Now we can get into creating these stickers. I will start with my logo sticker first. So since the size is three inches by 1.5 inches, I can only fit 10 of these on one sheet. So continue to duplicate and align them all together so they fit on the sheet. Once you're done, click attach and then the flatten button as well so it stays intact on the Cricut mat. Click continue once everything looks good and your stickers are on the inside of the black lines. Then you can click send to printer. I got my labels from Amazon and my printer is a Canon TS8120. I will also put that in the link below. So then you can place the label paper into your printer and the Cricut will send these sticker designs to print on the label paper. Let's take the paper and place it onto the Cricut mat and line everything up as closest to the outside lines as you can. Next, we will change our Cricut knob to custom and use the washi tape setting to have the Cricut cut just enough into the label paper so it can be peeled off and used as a sticker. Once it's ready, the Cricut will start scanning the sheet to recognize the outside lines of the stickers and proceed to make the cuts. Now we can remove the paper from our mat and I like to cut the black lines off so I have room to store them in my drawers. Yep. 
Now for the circle stickers, we will need to take a screenshot of our sticker and then upload it as a print and cut image. If you tried welding the image, it would combine both the text and the circle and wouldn't recognize it as two layers. So let's upload the image and remove the background from it and save as a print then cut image. upload it and then get rid of the one we created in Cricut Design Space. Now we can repeat the same steps as we did for the logo sticker. So we can duplicate them and then align them. These circles are one and a half inches so we'll be able to fit 20 of these in total on a sheet. Once you're done, click attach, then flatten, and then repeat the same steps for the other designs as well. I decided to make two different colors to add variety for my packages for when I ship them. Once you're done, cut them to your liking and you'll be ready to use them. I also placed my Hydro Flask on top of it so the paper would be flat and not rolled up. And that is it for today's video. I was kind of intimidated by it at first. You just need your Cricut, your computer, and another printer. I did note this in the video, but I accidentally bought matte stickers, which I am not happy about because I want my stickers to be glossy. So I will put down the glossy paper that I actually bought down below, but I'll also put the matte one that I bought as well. And I hope I explained everything great. Let me know if you like this video. Do not forget to check out my Etsy shop again. I cannot wait to see where it takes me. So thanks everyone for watching this video and supporting me. And if you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and click my subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this more tutorials and don't forget that I will be posting a video very soon on how I launched my Etsy shop and the behind the scenes on how I did it I hope everyone is having a great day and I will see everyone in the next video bye